Welcome to the part 14 of the Pitman shorthand course. In this video, we are going to talk about loop ST and STR. Let's start with loop ST. A small loop represents ST. For example, this is the word seam, but the same word with the small loop becomes steam. Same way, this is the word pass, but the same word with the small loop becomes passed. Now this small loop can also be used finally to represent the heavy sound of ZD. For example, in the word refused and opposed. Now let's see loop STR. A large loop represents STR. For example, this is the word past, but the same word with the large loop becomes pastor. Same way, this is the word fast, but the same word with the large loop becomes faster. Now let's take some examples so that we can look into this practically. Alright, so the first word is rest. So rest will be written like this. Alright, so we have this ST here. So that's why we used this small loop to represent our ST. Next word is post. So post will be written like this. Alright, again we have this ST. So that's why we used this small loop to represent our ST. Next word is supposed. So the supposed word will be written like this. So now we have this SD here, all right? The heavy sound of ZD. So that's why we use this small loop finally to represent our heavy sound of ZD. Next word is mixed. So mixed will be written like this. All right, so we have this, again, the heavy sound of ZD. So that's why we used this small loop finally to represent our heavy sound of ZD. Next word is master. So master will be written like this. All right, so now we have this STR here. So that's why we use this large loop this time to represent our STR. Next word is coaster. So coaster will be written like this. So we have this STR again. So that's why we use this large loop to represent our STR. Next word is minister. So minister will be written like this. All right. So we have this STR. So that's why we use this large loop to represent our STR. Next word is barrister. So barrister will be written like this. So we have this str again so that's why we use this large loop to represent our str so that's all for the loop st and str and i'll see you in the next part